Today, I'm gonna go over my favorite Chrome extensions for entrepreneurs. These are extensions for screenshots, video, making your life easier, scraping, contacting people, and a lot of other ways that you can scale and grow your online business. Let's check it out. The first plugin that I love, and I think a lot of people don't talk about, is Go Full Page. So I can't tell you how many times I wanna take a screenshot of the entire page, not just the top section, and be able to send that to other people on a team. Maybe it's real estate listing, maybe it's some data on a page, and I just want the full page but below the fold. So this is a Chrome extension called Go Full Page. What you do right here, let's do it live, is that you hit this button, uh, it takes a photo of everything down and all the way below the page, and I'll just save it as a PDF, and that makes it so easy just to send that off. A lot of times when you take a screenshot, it'll only take the section that you're on, not actually the full page below. So super big fan of that one. Uh, next up is hide Twitter ads. I actually love seeing ads in general. I think it's a really powerful way to kind of know what people are marketing to you, what kind of crazy tracking a lot of these places have. I've had it on for Twitter and I kind of forgot it's there. When I go on my phone and check Twitter once in a while, I'm like, man, there are a lot of ads here. Generally, like on YouTube, I, I want to see the ads because I do YouTube videos. Uh, but hide Twitter ads is a really neat extension to kind of protect yourself from seeing ads on Twitter. You literally go see the content you want and get the hell off. All right, this is one of my favorite Chrome extensions. I think it can be used anywhere in the world, but it is the library extension. And I know whether you're rich or poor, the libraries are so awesome. And I think they're highly underrated, but let's say there's a book you like. I'm gonna look Million Miles in a Thousand Years by Donald Miller, uh, one of my favorite books of all time. What the library extension does, which is really cool, is that you can put in your local library wherever you are, uh, and it'll actually see if there's an audiobook, physical book, or digital book uh, that you can get at the library local to you. Uh, if it doesn't have it, it won't recommend it. Let me see if I can find a book that has it. I love this Chrome extension. So Mike Nichols, it's a book I'm reading right now. A lot of times I'll buy books to support authors. A lot of times if I'm not sure how the book's gonna be, uh, or messing with the author, I can just go to the library and get any kind of version, uh, especially if you're getting started out in your career or like me and you're in the middle of your career, uh, it's a really cool tool to be using. Highly recommend the library extension. I actually donate to these guys because I like it so much. Uh, next up is MetaMask. It's not really for entrepreneurship, but one thing I want to encourage you is just try out different things that you see across the web. A lot of times it can inspire you in your own business, whether that's an offline retail business or as well like AppSumo.com, which is an online digital business. Uh, so MetaMask, as you can see right here, I'll log in, you can see it. It is a PayPal for the Chrome browser. So think of it as like a, a web wallet for your crypto. So let me log in. And you guys can actually see how much crypto I have in this wallet. It looks like I've got uh, cryptos down. So not as much as I used to, uh, but it's kind of a cool way to just like actually transfer money through browsers. You understand a little bit how crypto works. So I definitely liked having MetaMask. I don't have a ton of my crypto in here, but it's been an interesting thing to see how technology has been used and learn more about crypto. New tabs at end. This is kind of a weirder one you probably have not heard about. Uh, but a lot of times when I open a tab, it kind of, I don't know where the hell it goes. You ever hit open a tab, like you hit command, click the link and it opens somewhere. Uh, so new tabs at end is that when you click on links, automatically go to the far right. And I found when I'm trying to open a bunch of LinkedIn profiles or a bunch of tweets or a bunch of articles, I actually found it to be really organized to always just go to the far right. And then you can do command nine just to go to the last one. Uh, so I found that super helpful uh, to use really, really regularly. That is called new tabs at end. And one that you guys probably heard of, I actually don't really use it too often is Loom. Uh, it's to be able to record videos. So if you wanna actually send demonstrations, I find this so much easier than trying to like type something up or take a screenshot and like write on it. Uh, so Loom, you can make a video. I don't use this as much. I think if you're like a designer, uh, if you're more involved in the data of a product or anything like that, or trying to show examples, maybe customer support, uh, I think Loom can be a really powerful thing. I personally am not using it. I would say maybe once a month, uh, but it's a cool way. Let me just show you guys how to use it. Start recording, pick your screen, uh, and it, it's powerful and it's free. I think you get the first five minutes for free and you could send this file really easily to someone else. I'm not using it all the time, but pretty, pretty neat. Next up is one, uh, this is an oldie, but a goodie. Uh, it's the newsfeed eradicator. This has been awesome when I was using Facebook. I don't know if you guys are using Facebook, but when you go there now, uh, it doesn't show anything in the middle. And this is probably something I need for Twitter, but I actually like going to my Twitter newsfeed and you can see there's nothing actually being shown, just kind of a cool quote. Uh, it was really beneficial for Facebook because as you go to the site, it really removes the distraction. I can go see any of the messages, see any of the notifications and call it a day uh, instead of just kind of getting pulled in like I did on Twitter as I was doing this demonstration earlier. All right, so this one is actually kind of a sneaky one. It's not even listed in my extensions. Uh, a friend showed this to me and I do think I had it installed on a previous computer. I'm not sure if it's installed right now, but you can bypass paywalls. I don't recommend not paying for people creating content 
Don't recommend you using this. It's up, totally up to your own choice. But what you can do is if you can go into developer mode, you can actually install bypass paywalls. So basically it helps you skip through like New York Times or Wall Street Journal or wherever you should be paying uh, to help you actually see the content that you want. Use it as your own discretion, but you can look it up on GitHub called Bypass Paywalls Chrome. You have to have the developer mode on. And I, someone said this to me, pretty interesting that people built it and you can access it. I think if you don't have money, I would say use it, but as you have more money to afford and support artists and creators, just straight up pay them. Yeah, straight up pay them. So the two things for coupons, I don't use Join Honey, I found it too annoying. So I use Rakuten. Uh, a lot of times as you buy something, it literally is just buy something you're gonna buy anyways, you get like two to 10% back. Uh, so I'm like, of course I don't have to do too much there. And then uh, the Rakuten extension is as you are buying things, a lot of times it says, hey, do you want 3% off on the site? And so if I'm buying something on a site anyways, you just get this cash back and they literally just send it to you in a PayPal thing. The Capital One uh, used to be Wikibuy. So whenever you do the buying stuff, it also shows you coupon codes. Sometimes I find those really annoying, but for the most part, it's like not a lot of extra work to save a good amount of money. So I'm, I'm a huge fan of that. Uh, so you can see like if you're going to buy Miles Apparel, which is like one of my favorite shorts, as you're buying any of these, it doesn't always have the coupon. But a lot, I mean, I don't think this is like brand new unless you're my mom. She's like, wow, I didn't know you could do that. But for most of you, you probably have some type of coupon code so that when you come to the coupon check out on a Shopify store, any type of store, it'll say, hey, we have a bunch of codes, do you wanna try it? So yeah, you can see it says, you automatically save $10 on these shorts. Pretty damn good. That is Capital One Shopping, which does the discount codes, and Rakuten, who gives you money back on a lot of purchases you're doing anyways. If you want more videos like this to help you on your own business journey, make sure to subscribe to the channel. I put out three juicy business videos every single week to help you on your side hustle or get your business off the ground. A few other ones I like, Readwise, I actually don't use the Chrome extension. You'll see a, a ton of people use this on Twitter to like, save threads. I use Readwise a lot of times to see my highlights for my Kindle book, as well as it sends me a notification on Friday of just a cool thing I quoted from reading. One thing I wanna encourage you is that if you have extensions that you're not using or you're not familiar with, a lot of times these extensions have crazy access to your information and all of your browser history. So be very mindful as well as they can slow it down and mess up websites. So if you're not using things actively, like as you just saw, not really using Readwise too actively on the extension in the, in the web, uh, get rid of it. It also speed up your, your web experience. Uh, a few other ones that I really like, uh, I use Rocket Reach regularly now. Uh, Rocket Reach helps you find contact information on anyone. So let's say you're going on LinkedIn and there's someone that you would like to find out. Let's just put Bill Gates. It's a little bit of extreme. So in Rocket Reach, if you click on it, it'll actually pull up the person and then you could choose whether you wanna be able to get their contact information on it. it. You get free, I think a certain amount each month and then you could pay uh, if you need access to reaching out to people. So if you're trying to do PR, if you're trying to do marketing, if you're trying to do hiring, if you're trying to just contact someone maybe for your podcast, uh, I think Rocket Reach is super cool for that. I actually don't use Send to Kindle for Google Chrome to remove this one, but the idea is that if there's like a PDF or an article you wanna read later and you wanna read it on your Kindle, I end up reading it on my iPad, so I don't use this, but I use an alternative I'm gonna show you in a second. So I use Pocket a ton. Uh, Pocket is this thing right up here. One thing you can do on your Google Chrome extensions I use pretty often is move them, either pin them or hide them. I, just, I kinda like my browser stuff really clean and pretty. So only ones that I'm actually actively kick, clicking on, like Pocket I use a lot. Uh, but as you find an article, like maybe you're on Bloomberg or some kind of news site or someone sent you a YouTube video, what I found is it's very distracting. Like, check this out, read this thing. And so you can go to it uh, and instead of even clicking on it, you can right click and save to pocket. Or if you click on the article, you can click up the pocket icon and it'll save it. The other thing I use this for a lot is that if someone emails me or slacks me a message, uh, you can just save it right to pocket. Uh, and then I regularly, uh, on Saturdays, I read a lot of the articles that I've saved over the week. And it just kind of keeps me focused and, and less distraction during the day. So in Pocket, you can see that, you know, there's articles that I've already saved recently. So one from Nuriel, I just saved that article from Bloomberg. Uh, and so now, as you see it, it automatically comes out here. And I just find it really easy because what happens with Pocket is I can focus on it when I want to, as well as it removes a lot of the ads from that content. So I can just come and kind of see this content a lot easier. I don't know what's in Reddit Enhancement Suite. I'm just a huge Redditor. I think it makes it so that the images kind of show up in, in line versus you have to go off the, the page to actually see them. So I definitely have it installed. I think that's what it's for. Uh, the two other things that I have, as you see, native HLS playback and S4U. It's so I can watch streams of sports online. I use a site called seasons4u.com, which has access to a lot of sports. I don't think it's legal per se. I don't know. What are the, I think that's pretty much it from using my Google, Google Chrome extensions. One thing that I don't have that I would recommend you guys checking out is especially if you're getting a business going or if you're doing marketing or if you're doing PR, uh, I do think there's extensions on Data Scraper. Uh, I've used this in the past really heavily to figure out like, all right, what are the top rank WordPress plugins? Or if I'm trying to contact people uh, for marketing, it's like, all right, let me, there's a list of a bunch of email addresses. Let me actually get those all aggregated. 
Uh, and so I found data scraping extensions super helpful and there's a lot of free ones. I think almost every one of these extensions I've shown you has been free. Those are the different Chrome extensions that I use as an entrepreneur to help me run a business at Sumo.com. If you want more videos like this, check out this video right up here where I show you other tools I use to help run an $85 million business. These are the apps we actually use to run our company. And make sure you subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet. And I love you. I'll see you out there. Pew, pew.